thousands of outdoors would flock to upstate New York for the salmon run because of their intense schools and hardcore fighting. And that's exactly where myself and three others are headed this year. On the first day, we started at a small creek and had success with one fish and a few hookups. There you go, buddy. You got him. Oh, yeah, boy. After about an hour of fishing, we realized not that many fish had traveled up this far into the creeks. So we headed for our next location. The Salmon River. Disgusting, dude. It's going back in. Kinds yeah. of jewelry. That's one nasty looking salmon. He's big. He's big. Yeah. It almost looked like a steelhead. It almost looked like a steelhead. It's so yellow. Like, so, you know. Yeah. Oh, look, there's another fly. I think that's mine. I don't know if that's mine. Damn, does. It's the same thing. Just do this easier. Oh yeah, mine's le look at it. Look at all the hooks. Look at that thing. Another fly on its head. Mine's legal. <laughs> oh, the other ones weren't? No, that's legal. Now, look at all the extra flies. <laughs> what do you think, Justin? Does that look like it needs to die? Oh, look at old. old. Yeah, don't it? Yeah. Look at all the eggs blowing out of it. Oh, Got a free fly. Oh, look, the eggs. Get that. That's a big female. Save them. No, that's alright. Let them spread them. We'll take them. It's a big female. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? Yes. Did I get that one? She's dead anyway. But that's what they do. They come up and they... That was in there, yeah. That was dead, yeah. Yeah. She died. Thank you. 
came up to do. That's a cool one. The following morning, we headed out to the river extremely early to secure a spot. And as soon as it was legal fishing time, we hit the water. First, Sam hooked up. Stay on. Angry little. <laughs> Coming into the bank. We go. Oh. Then me. Oh, it's off. He broke everything off. It was bound to happen. He only ran you through 13 rocks over half. Ben Max. You never ever walk with them. You're only going to scare them. You're enabling them to go somewhere else. you got to predict the fight. Coming back up. Keep reeling. See, he's coming right yeah. to you. You're controlling him, you know. You're, you don't, you don't want him to control you. Here. You're the one that's driving. It's a good hook because he hasn't gone anywhere. See, and then he's gonna get tired, and he's gonna get stupid. He's gonna get close to him. I'm gonna club him. <laughs> we get double hook up now. The other guy behind me is one. Right at him, right at him. Nope, yeah, he's gone far. That's why he came right to you. <laughs> All of which came off. That was awful. I got one. Oh no, nope, came off. Freaking hand got caught in the reel. Ah. Uh, yeah, I was trying to, I was, I was trying to, I went to do this to tighten the drag more and I, my hand caught the reel and it pulled tight and pulled right off. Now I got to freaking retie probably. I don't know. I got one.
Oh boy. He's on. Oh sh <laughs> Oh, he's off. The rest of the day consisted of many hookups, a few fish landed, and a bunch of break-offs. <laughs> oh no, there he goes. <laughs> this one's just... One of the most common sayings on the same river is fish on, fish off. Oh. Finally, same length and a nice Damn. fish. For a stringer? No. Looks like it. Um, Listen to the teeth. <laughs> Flossin. Go get it. Get your max. Let's throw tape on them. Here, Justin, get in this. We're going to do a three way. Max's dad, Justin, followed up suit with the hookup. Fishing on the river for 11 hours straight, we called it a day and headed back to town to get something to eat. And even though I didn't land a single fish, just hooking up and feeling their strength is enough for an adrenaline rush. Our last day in New York surprised us with some pretty awful weather, and well, fishing wasn't too much different. We spotted one salmon in the creek, and after a few casts of trying to see if we can get her, she spooked and we never saw her again. So we hung up the rods for day three and decided to go take a look at the fish hatchery. And what I witnessed there was absolutely breathtaking.
found it unreal that tens of thousands of all these fish, who began their lives here just a few years earlier, knew their way back to start the process over again. I will always be in awe of these fish's determination to travel upriver. <laughs>